before it gets any more confusing. Tonight the church remembers Eglantine Jeb, social reformer, founder of Save the Children Fund in 1928. And today is O Sapienta, which is the first of the O Antiphons. I'll start playing them tomorrow. I worked out how to do it now. So, the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we come to the Lord, and together we say, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit, raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator, of the world we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep from evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know O father that we ask be done through jesus christ your only son and holy spirit by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death When your left hand goes instead of the right hand. Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness sake bring me out of trouble in your faithfulness slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul for truly i am your servant oh okay glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever Amen. That's very interesting. Here we go. That's where we should have been. Somehow managed to click the wrong thing, guys. Sorry. Mark thirteen thirty-five to the end. Keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come. In the evening, or at midnight, or at cock crow, or at dawn. Or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. What I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. 
I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. So as we come before the Lord now, as we reflect on all that this day has been, we take a moment to think, to cogitate on all that is. If only I could use the right keyboard. Hopefully I can give you a bit of a blessing. Well, I'm hoping this is going to float your boat. Today is the first of what we call the O Antiphons. And the first of them is O Sapienta, which is O Wisdom. People who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. Father, as we enter the last seven days of our journey to Christmas with the O Antiphons, prepare our hearts for the Christmas feast Help us to walk boldly towards Bethlehem, the birth, and expectantly at the Christ's second coming. Lord, as we come before you this night, touch us by your Spirit and bless us, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We look at the world around us and we see things of which we can be grateful. More than 300 boys are on their way back to their homes. 344 have been freed and all were well. 
was the people who took them from Boko Haram have been overcome when the children set free. Father, we thank you for that news tonight. For such good news from Africa. And Lord, as we give you thanks for the good things before us, we pray for the people in Zimbabwe. There's some 7.6 million people are hungry. Over half, about half of the population have fallen into poverty. Father, we pray for this crisis, that there will be resolution, that there will be ways of feeding and living with all that is before this nation. May the leaders of this nation have wisdom and may the nations with plenty bring what they have to share. And Father, we pray for peace in China and India and between each of those nations. We pray for outcomes that make us smile in the EU and UK discussions. We give you thanks that a, a man is about to be charged with being one of the perpetrators of the Lockerbie bombing 42 years ago 32 years ago I can't count <laughs> oh but Lord I hope we can count on the courts to bring justice to bear to give some closure to those whose loved ones were taken Father we pray for justice throughout the world and we pray for it in America we pray for unity in all nations and Lord as Trump enters his final days of being the president he's looking to set a new record it seems of executions clearing the decks and showing him to be somebody you don't want to mess with Father, we pray for the unity of the United States and for its dealings with nations. And we pray for its infrastructure as snowstorms have hit the northeast of, your, of the US. 60 million people affected and up to three foot of snow in northern New York. Got all of one in one night, all of last year's snow and Lord my dad always used to say that when it leaves America it comes to us and I wouldn't mind a white Christmas but for those who are homeless we pray that shelter would be theirs Lord in your mercy hear our prayer and we lift to you those for whom we pray at this time we pray for our families and friends and neighbours, those we know who need a touch from you. And Lord, as we pray for those in our families, we pray for ourselves. We ask that you would be God in everything that means in the lives of all. For those for whom we hope, we pray, we contend, we ask Lord for your strength and healing. We ask Lord for your presence and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord Jesus, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you, grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, so that at your second coming to judge the world we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. 
you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. So we pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always. Amen. Thanks for being with us tonight, guys. Obviously, the keyboard battery is running out because you click it and it doesn't happen or it races around like a mad thing. Ah, oh, welcome to my world. Sleep well, guys. Be blessed. Stay safe. And may those for whom you pray, those you love, those for whom you worry, may they rest in God's arms this night and may they find his peace, his presence and his healing. You take care, guys. Bless you. Thanks for being with us. Good night.